we join the sequence about two or three minutes before time change. Notice the negative offset bits here. These are the incoming bits. These are the decoded bits. Each one of these is worth uh, 100 milliseconds, hence minus 600 milliseconds, because it is in the negative. When one second is added, this minus 600 should change to plus 400. In other words, these four bits should be set, if everything works OK. Now, notice it is 0.57, not 12 o'clock midnight. This is because, as you can see here, British summer time is set, and uh, the time change is actually taking place at British summer time. The new run is in a different color, so that one can see the old and the new at the same time. We still have our offset of plus six, um, minus 600 milliseconds. And heading into second 57, 58. Hopefully, everything has settled down. The signal seems to be first class, so one doesn't expect any problems. This here is the beginning of the sequence marker. It lasts 500 milliseconds. And here, this is should be for the last time that we see the minus 600 millisecond markers, because in minute 59 will be displayed what is going to change when the new minute starts. In other words, uh, these data are always one minute ahead. Now we should see some changes now. I would expect four ones to appear here. And there we go, the marker. And now the four ones for 400 milliseconds plus, because the positive markers are in this region. And of course the others are wiped. And here you have plus 400 milliseconds. Now, the, for some, the extra second must have been inserted somewhere here because all these bits are changed one to the right and we get the wrong date displayed. That will be a temporary effect. That becomes zero. Every one is shifted one to the right. Now, here I would expect the change over to zero to come after 60 rather than 59 seconds because an extra second has been inserted somewhere in here. There is the 60. And we now start from the beginning again and the date should set itself correct at the end of this run. There should be a 1 there, and this one should shift to here. There, uh, so on. And we are back in 2012. A very short time journey. We'll just watch this until it finishes. Check that everything is OK. And there you have it, the leap second of the year 2012.